second and third grade. This is Mr. Calvert coming to you again. Um, today I'm going to talk about our artist of the day and his name is Hamish Fulton and he is going to be the artist that ties into your next art assignment. Okay, kind of like our last project we did, Maya Hayuk, and I kind of talked about her, and then you guys made a project inspired by her. Um, today it's going to be Hamish Fulton, so I'll show you some of his work. We're going to continue to use the app assembly like we did with Maya Hayuk, um, but there is an option too that if you can't get that app to work, or if you'd rather draw out your artwork, that's fine too. Um, I'll show you an example of that in our video later on, um, where I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, but as I said, our artist today, his name is Hamish Fulton. And Hamish is actually still alive, um, kind of like a lot of the artists we've been talking about. And that means he is a contemporary artist and he is 73 years old. And he comes from London, which is in England or the United Kingdom, which is right about here. Okay, you guys have probably heard of London before. We would be right about here, right? Southern Wisconsin. And he is an artist that I've never heard of before until coming across his work. And he's called a walking artist. Um, so that means he makes all of his artworks based on going on walks. So things that he sees, things that he hears or smells or experiences, those are the things that he includes in his artworks. And a lot of the ways he does this is through photography or using photographs. Um, he also makes drawings or illustrations. And then oftentimes too, because um, when his artwork is shown in like a museum or a gallery, he can't necessarily um, take you on a walk with him. He'll use something called wall text. So he'll put like big words on a wall kind of describing what that might be like. Um, so as I said, he makes his artwork by walking, but he doesn't oftentimes just put up a photograph of his walk. A lot of times he'll then layer words on top of it. Um, and these are things that, that I said um, he might see or hear or smell or experience. Um, so this one says animal pathway. You can see this little trail. This is probably something that animals walk on. Oftentimes when animals um, walk, they find paths and they kind of like beat down an area or clear, clear an area out. Um, so notice too how he oftentimes changes the font. Sometimes he'll use different fonts. Sometimes he'll change the size of it. Sometimes he'll make it all um, uppercase. Sometimes he'll make it all lowercase. So here we see he's made animal very small, but then he's in large pathway. Now think about how changing the words um, might affect the way that we experience that artwork or the way that um, maybe by emphasizing the word pathway, by making that bigger, he's kind of emphasizing that word that he's showing you there's a pathway right here. Um, this one says, The Crow Speaks, Colors of the Rainbow, A Seven-Day Wandering Walk of Cairngorms, Scotland, Summer Solstice, 1991. The rocks are alive in their homeland. Solstice, Full Moon. A seven-day Cairngorm walk, or excuse me, a seven-day circular walk, Cairngorms, Scotland, June, 1986. So I don't know exactly what the Cairngorm Scotland thing is. Um, but you can see how um, he changes that text size. He changes the colors of it too, to probably emphasize different parts of it. He changes the spacing. You know, these are kind of grouped together. Then this line is off by itself. And then these two lines are kind of grouped together. So think about how you might want to include those, your own um, text in your artwork. This one says an object cannot compete with an experience. So kind of saying how going out and experiencing things is better than um, maybe owning something. Walking between walks, connecting the invisible footsteps of seven previous walks. All right, so um, on your guys' project, you guys are going to be working with a photograph, whether that's a photograph that you find um, outside in your backyard or maybe on a walk with your parents, or maybe it's a photograph of a landscape that you've already been to. You know, maybe you went out to Colorado and saw the mountains and mom and dad have a picture of that on their phone that you could use in your artwork. And then you guys are going to be adding text to yours. Um, we're going to be... A, uh, almost making like a poem. So think about short phrases. You don't want it to be super duper long. Um, this one just says small birds. Um, but I would think about maybe using like two or three short lines to kind of talk about your experience with your work. And I'll talk more about that in our next video. All right, but that is Hamish Fulton. I hope that you guys enjoyed learning about him. Um, I can't wait to see the artworks that you guys come up with. Uh, be sure to watch the next video so you kind of have an idea of how to add text to your photos. And as I said, if you can't get the assembly app to work, be sure to um, do a drawing of it then. That's fine too. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.